Hello everyone, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. This time we're going to be talking about all the ins and outs going on with Manchester City like always. So remember, if you're interested in daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer 2019 window, make sure you do press the red button, subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on. You can go and check out my social media links which you can find in description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below and also also make sure you leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. So we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to start off with the ins and we're going to be talking about the imminent transfer of Rodri. Uh, just a short update with Rodri here. So it's been reported that Bayern Munich, they won't be signing a defensive midfielder this summer, which has potentially now cleared the way for Manchester City to stroll to their first transfer with the form of Rodri. We're expecting him, of course, to sign, as we've reported previously this week, next week. So big week for Manchester City next week in the summer transfer market of course when they're holding up the shirts and everything they're waiting for the switch over which they've uh, now put the uh, Puma logo up at the Etihad Stadium so they're waiting for the switch over get the new deal through obviously they're going to get money in terms of sponsorships but also holding up and everything in terms of agreements and everything they want the players holding up the current new shirt which will be out I'm expecting to be announced on Sunday evening because they've got an event on so that's when it'll be announced so if you're interested in what the kit's going to look like I have covered the rumours already of the kits uh, the leaks and everything but uh, I'll be, uh, well I won't be there but I'll be announcing it for Sunday retweeting it so go and check out my Twitter if you want to go and check out what the new kit will look like, we're expecting that Sunday evening, so we've now got an update on Everton Suarez spoke about him yesterday, I said it looks like potential uh, fake news but things seem to be gathering up a little bit, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but the pace is gathering a little bit, 80 million euro release clause apparently but Gremio who he plays for over in Brazil apparently they want half of that and looking at around 40 million euro and apparently Manchester City are willing to pay €40 million Euro for Everton Suarez. Uh, apparently that offer's already there, but I'm not sure how true that is and the offer's already there, but there we go. Apparently Pep Guardiola likes Everton Suarez. Apparently Manchester City have been following him for some time throughout all of his academy days, obviously, so they're looking to see if they can track him and sign him. Potentially, it was according to this report over in Brazil, by the way, that he would be playing for competition with Sergio Aguero and Gabriel Jesus, so I presume he'll be playing in that form forward position uh, but I was under the understanding that City weren't looking at an attacker in this window we'll wait and see on that one maybe it'll be one of those that we sign like Jesus we sign him and then won't bring him in until um, the winter months maybe I don't know we'll have to uh, wait and see on that uh, regarding whether we are in for him or not but this is all coming from Brazil not got any official confirmation from any sources in the UK when I do get uh, things going uh, and if it turns out if it's true or not then I'll be the first to report it to you of course now we've got a new name in the end with Manchester City comes in the form of a Hoffenheim 19 year old youngster by the name of Eli Elmkees, I hope that's how you say his name, but apparently Manchester City and Manchester United are interested in the 19-year-old midfielder. New name for us, someone that we're potentially looking at. I'm, I'm not sure, if I'm completely honest, I mean a 19-year-old isn't probably going to slot into our academy team, you wouldn't think. So they're going to the first team. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure on this transfer, if I'm completely honest. I feel like this is just a fabricated new source. But if we get developments on that, then I will bring it to you. So we'll keep, it's one of those, we'll keep an eye on that. I have lots of transfers that are like that throughout all of the window. You know, players like a goom and that reminds me of one of them transfers where, by the way, he's set to go to uh, Inter Milan having his medical, I think, today. So, yeah, that's how things go when you're signing young players. So we'll move on to the outs now. Uh, and we're going to be talking about Leroy Sane. We've been speaking about him a little bit, uh, well, uh, over the last few weeks or so. So we've got a little bit more of an update. So despite reports from yesterday where I was reporting Bayern Munich uh, weren't in for Leroy Sane, turning their attentions to Uzuman Dembele, we've been reported by Sky Sports by saying that actually they're stepping up their interest in Leroy Sane. He remains top of their transfer list of players to bring in, which... I find it odd. I'll say it right now. It isn't happening. Leroy Sane, this window isn't going to Bayern Munich. You don't need to worry about that. They can't afford him. That's the biggest matter here. They can't afford him. They haven't got to spare 90 to 100 million pounds to be able to pay for him. So it isn't happening. Plus, Leroy Sane doesn't sound too keen on a move to Bayern Munich with all the pressure that comes from a big money move to Bayern Munich and all the attention that comes with it. 
He's happy in the Premier League. He's happy just to go about his business and do things his way. And so while he continues to be linked, reliable sources at Sky Sports saying this and stuff, it just, it doesn't make sense. And to me, it isn't happening. But there we go. Right, we were reporting yesterday on an update with Jack Harrison. We've got more movement with regards to that. Now, there's lots of reliable sources saying Leeds will be loaning him for the season. That will be done very soon. How soon? I don't know. That could even be today. Um... But it's been reported, though, that with championship clubs going back to pre-season, some have gone back this week, some are going back at the start of next week, that they're wanting to, Leeds are wanting to get the business done early with Jack Harrison, so they want it done now. And apparently Jack Harrison, according to several sources reliable close to Manchester City, that Jack Harrison set to sign a new contract extension at Manchester City will be a 12-month extension, which will keep him here until 2022 instead of 2021. And that will be part of the agreement where he goes out on loan to Leeds and if you're wondering why we're putting him on an extra 12 months so that's just to keep his value there if he does a good loan spell at Leeds again then his value will be the same as what it was at the end of this window so around 15 million pounds because we know that if we kept him on a contract until 2021 he'll have just one year to run in his contract as of the end of his loan at Leeds next season that his value will be down and Leeds will be thinking they may be able to get him cheaper or another club will thinking they can get him for cheaper so City are keeping that value there and that's why he's been put on an extra 12 months we're just waiting for his new contract and his loan to be announced they will probably be announced at the same time now last but not least i found this extremely interesting but it's been reported by sources in london reliable sources by the way that matt smith will be loaned to queen's park rangers found this unusual i was under the understanding that he was close to sealing a loan move to belgium to go and play with andelec where vincent company's gone vincent company wants him to play with uh, under him uh, andelec he's had a very impressive loan spell at fc 20 last season that matt smith uh, i thought would have gone to Anderlecht but instead now it seems that he might be destined for London and playing for Queen's Park Rangers instead in the championship and so I found that interesting so I'd like to know your thoughts if it was up to you on your loan move would you rather go to Anderlecht and play for Vincent Company in Belgium or would you rather have a move to London and go and play for Queen's Park Rangers in the championship found it very interesting hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video if you're interested in this content and daily Manchester City transfer updates then make sure you subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on we're aiming for 4k subs we're less than 100 away so any help towards that will be much appreciated thank you everyone for the continued support if you want to go and check out my social media links you can find them in description below and popping up on screen for my twitter and instagram if you want to go and follow me on there then that will be much appreciated too and also make sure you leave your your thoughts in the comments below Everton Suarez do you want him at Manchester City or not let me know Liverpool trying to sign him too do you want City to win his signature do let me know your thoughts in the comments below so I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update so it's been JFGC hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day peace ciao for now <laughs>